to this one. The U.S. government plans to kill a half a million owls. What? In three U.S. states to save an endangered owl. I, I, I find that hard to believe. I'm pro owl. I love owls. I love owls. What, what's not to love about? I them? rarely, rarely who, who, get to enjoy who, them. Who would do such a thing? Whoa! I don't need any of this who stuff. What are you, Doctor Seuss? <laughs> At least five hundred thousand invasive barred owls' lives are at stake. At stake for encroaching on the endangered California spotted owl. Mm. Well, the, the, the U.S. Uh, Fish and Wildlife Service plans to unleash hunters in California, Oregon, and Washington to kill about a half million nocturnal birds that are native to the eastern U.S. How did they find their way west? Was it naturally or was it via... I don't know. Under the proposal, the hunters the would broadcast barred owl territorial calls to attract owls and shoot on sight. But in areas where firearm use is inadvisable, they would be they would be instructed to capture and euthanize the creature. How are you gonna have you seen the talons on an owl? Oh yeah. Yikes. Those chickens have large talons. <laughs> yeah, those have large owls talons. Do. Yeah. Owls have historically been protected from hunters. But the Fish and Wildlife Service claimed the barred owl has become an emerging threat to the spotted owl because they have a larger appetite, causing them to compete for the same prey. Mm -hmm. okay. The barred owl has also been known to kill the spotted owl. Well, isn't that just isn't that just nature? That's right, man. So they're getting the upper hand now. That's the right. other owls, you know, fade now. The out. two owls look similar, with both having <laughs> rounded heads, brown and white colored bodies, and black eyes that are only distinguished by their slight size difference and the colors of their beaks. And we expect hunters to tell the yeah. difference. Are you kidding? Yeah, me? what is that one, Ray? What do you think? Spotted Sorry. owls measure about 1.5 feet in length and have a wingspan. Uh, where the uh, printer cut off, and barred owls are bigger, <laughs> wow. standing Jesus. about two feet tall with a wingspan of four feet. Man, barred owls started migrating to the forests of Washington, Oregon, and California from their native region in the northeastern U.S. Oh, due to what? Climate change. Uh, climate change. Yeah, no, of course. No. Yeah, no. Nope, that's a convenient excuse. Of course there is it no is. No way in no. hell I am buying that. No. In 1990, the spotted owl was added to the Endangered Species Act uh, because of habitat loss. And and now the migration of the barred owl has uh, worsened that situation. Organizations <sighs> led by Animal Wellness and the Center for a Humane Economy penned a letter to Interior Secretary Deborah Holland on Monday accusing her of a reckless plan to shoot 500,000 barred owls over the next 30 years. Woo! So they weren't going to go out and get them in one weekend. Got it. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Climate change has contributed to the animal's adoptive behavior and no. patterns. No, no BS. B as in B, S as in S. Natural environmental changes would be a better way of putting that. Uh, We've been seeing this kind of migration in animals since the beginning of uh, the planet. You know what it's called? It's called evolution. We've been seeing this since Noah built an ark. Yeah. And this is just another case. And I don't know if it's like this globally or if this is just a fascination we have in the United States where man thinks man can control nature and they set about doing it with such confidence and what they end up doing is screwing everything up it always happens man always. is not bigger than nature yeah yeah despite the the uh, the, uh, the fish and wildlife service published published a 264 page proposal in November, saying that culling the barred owls is essential to protecting the spotted owl. However, when asked why so many barred owls need to be culled and how many spotted owls they have killed, 
an FWS spokesperson directed, of course, the Daily Mail has this because they have, they're the Costco of newspapers. They cover it all. <laughs> they have everything. They got a big you budget. want a bag of pistachios and some tires for your truck? Yep. You go to Costco. There you go. You want the latest celebrity gossip and who just had <laughs> breast enhancement yes. and a fish and wildlife service directive against the barred owl? You go to the Daily I'm Mail. Going to the Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> when asked why so many barred owls need to be culled or how many spotted owls they have killed, an FWS spokesperson directed the Daily Mail to a press release that said barred owls have not substantially impacted California spotted owl populations to date. Huh. Instead, the release said the purpose of calling so many owls is to eliminate their future expansion and range and reduce any populations that might become established in the years to come. No, it's that. another case where uh, elected and unelected officials are reading the, uh, a gl uh, the the crystal ball. Right. That we had it yesterday. The St. Paul City Council, the least diverse council in America, right. uh, is ordering everyone building anything to include uh, 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 chargers for EVs because they just know it's going to happen. Yeah. It's so interesting. We could be having this kind of discussion about so many different species right now, uh, bison, um, wolves, coyotes. I mean, just put any species in there, and we could be uh, arguing back and forth, and it's always man trying to uh, control nature. Uh, so... God, I mean... It's, it's so, I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank uh, you, Matthew. That's all you can say is, I mean, seriously, it's so frustrating. As someone who has rescued birds... <laughs> he and, actually and did mouth to mouth. I have. Uh, and as someone who <laughs> has weird, dude. routinely fed <laughs> birds, as someone who will get up in the middle of the night and go outside to try and identify exactly where I hear an owl coming from, I am opposed to this. If there was a protest, I would join it. How do you like that? Wow. Huh. Let the I... spotted and barred owl fight for their own livelihoods I, I couldn't pull down on an owl i, I gotta tell you i don't have it oh, in me god i, I would do not it. no gee whiz an owl i oh, felt man. bad once because i plunked a pigeon with a bb gun and it dropped oh. like a sack of cement. Yeah. They will, like you, uh, like yeah. Randy. Uh, I'll take care of the pigeons. pigeons. Yeah, yeah, I have no guilt uh, about this whatsoever. Heck with the pigeons. I, I don't care if your pigeon has a name. I'll take care of it for <laughs> you. You know, and I violated <laughs> one of the one of the truths of shooting. <laughs> Uh, when I killed it, I said, well, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean yeah. to. Well, yeah, but I shot right at it. So, yeah, but yeah. when you're sitting in your house uh, and all you hear is, this was at a kid I used to have house. Oh. And I went over there, and sure enough, there's this pigeon about the size of a basketball yep. sitting on the chimney. Yep. Uh, and I, I loaded Tree up down. my trusty pellet gun. And yeah, here we go. Boom. Fell right at my feet. And then Daniel and the, Boone. The kids were going, what'd you do that for? I said, why'd you shooter. call me over here? You're being troubled right, by the pigeon. Right. My uh, pigeon um, experience. I've eaten was... pigeon. You have? Yeah. In, in Italy, it's not. It's called squab? Pigiano. Squab. Oh. Maybe. It's wonderful. Uh, it was during the winter. Tastes like garbage. And there were <laughs> pigeons on our roof. And they <laughs> were going. newspaper. <laughs> so I took out my BB gun. And I shot it, and it flew away, and it went down on the neighbor's steps. Oh boy! And there, were, it looked like the OJ scene. And it was <laughs> it was winter, so I couldn't. Oh, you were. I couldn't clean it up. Oh my word! And I didn't know if they were going to be upset Whoa. that I shot and killed a pigeon, but they were they were actually nice. Somebody used to do that to squirrels in my backyard, Matthew, in South Minneapolis. I have no idea who would do that. Right. But then that same guilty party would pick up one of those squirrels and. Toss it into the neighbor's yard. Oh boy, <laughs> what a crazy neighbor! I wonder. Who I have that no was. idea who was doing that. I, uh, you can, weren't paying attention. Can we go back in your story for a minute, Joe? Sure. You were, you were actually called over there because of the pigeon problem. You said, "Yeah." Oh, okay. Well, these were kids raised in the city. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. You had like a Batman symbol up in the cloud. <laughs> yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Is that so why you had your gun with you? You know, now, I, and now that you mention, I don't remember what the. I don't remember what the controversy was. You've come a long way from just 
when the turkey was in your yard, telling the CP, hey, go out there and check that out while I watch out the window. That 